Hello and welcome to Vern Rants TV with me David Thomas. In this video you're going to see me shooting the Walther LGU 177 which has been tuned by John at Samwell Field Sports. We're going to put this through a field test, a bit of HFT, a bit of blinking, some vermin and a chrono test. So let's see how the review goes. There's Davey, just testing the uh, Sandal Food Sports Tune Walther LGU. Just tried it at the minute with JSBs. And then behind him is Laura shooting her new Ultra. There's certainly an improvement on this uh, LGU regards to the trigger. Yeah? Because uh, before the standard, you could feel the spring and the trigger and it would go like a creep on it. There's no creep now, and there's a positive first stage, and the second stage is just a let off. It's, it's just a fine touch, and it's gone. Yeah, I thought that when I fired it in the shop. But I only shot it at about 20 metres. Just needs pellet testing, really. You hitting them, babe? Well done. Got it? That's, that's just pellet testing now, right? I took three shots, right? I've used one as my aim. Uh, point of aim, and I've had another two shots land on top of one another at 45. So really? For a pellet testing, yeah. Oof. Yeah, that's that's uh, no line. So I've just, that's just so that's three pellets on top of each other at 45. No, I've got I've got one which is my aim point. Yeah. Which I'm still all right. Okay. Zeroing, so I've got two now. Yeah. Right on top of one another. Right. At so this will be your third shot. Yeah. There you go. On top of each other? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Bloody oh, hell. That's, and that's just testing my safe. Yeah. So there might even be a, a brand of pellets what are even more accurate. Yeah. I'd like to try uh, Air Arms Field Express in this. I've got some. Because they work really well on my TX. Alright, I'll go and get you some. Wait, so which one you want me to look at? Um, the latest one is top left hand corner of the white board, the metal plate. Okay. Top left hand corner. So we're going to have a look at one of Davy's groups now. We've just tried the Wolfer LGU with Air Arms Express and apparently it's shooting really nice at 45 yards so we're going to have a look. So this is a, at 45 yards and we've been sharing this uh, but that's Davy's group there what he shot with the uh, Air Arms uh, Field Express pellets <laughs> at 45 yards. Just touch yeah, the bag. Is it, is it knocked down? <laughs> Don't you just knock it down with that sandal field sports Do you want it? tune? I'll set it for you, Laura. LGU. I couldn't resist them when you missed that, sorry. There you go. Right, go on then, sweetheart. So just put your bottom, so the top of the what mill dot is touching the bottom of the kill. You are all straight through the centre. Well done. Good shot, babe. See, you can do it. Right, let's see if I can hit that eye again. Right, you're going for the high on the squirrel? The eye, yeah. Yeah, David put an eye on the squirrel, as you can see, at 45. He's going to have another shot at it. It's like the same colour. Someone's been shooting, yeah. Good shot, Laura. Oh, great shot. That's <laughs> deadly, isn't it? Good shot as well, babe. Well done, that down, Jesus that Christ, that is, that's pellet that's on pellet at 45. <laughs> that's PCP accuracy. You see what proof yeah. 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 Isn't it? That's yeah. as accurate as you can get with PCP. Pellet on pellet at 45. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, I'm going to do a zero check with the uh, uh, LGU and I'm going to use just a plain target down a club, I'm not going to bother with paper. What I'm going to do is that pellet dot, top right hand of the frame, 
I'm going to see how well and how close I can get to it. With the new improved Soundwheel Phil Sports LGU. I'm using Air Arms Field Express. There we go, three shots, one could be lucky, two could be a fluke, but three as a matter of fact. So we're just going to have a look at that down the range, see what size group it is. But I haven't got a 5p piece on me, however, I have got a, a penny coin. And if I put the penny coin over it at 35 yards, you can see if that was a, if that was a 5p. It'll definitely cover it and uh, I think Tony's done a, a great job with this uh, LGU especially on the trigger okay that's uh, 60 yards I've got a shoot and see targets down there I'm gonna shoot at the bottom target first to find my point of aim and then I'll take just two shots at the 25 mil discs above it Let's see how close we can get to the centre of the disc first, the larger disc. So that's working out around about 2 mil dots of holdover at 60 yards on a 35 yard zero. I didn't see that impact anywhere else, so I'm guessing that's gone on top. I'll have a look later. Yeah, it's just going to the top and just slightly finding my crosshairs just rising slightly high. So one more shot at the large disc. I'll bring it down to centre again. There we go. So now I'm going to take two shots at the smaller discs, starting from left to right. Let's see how many shots it takes to get this next one. So that's a 25 mil disc at 60 yards. Um, John at Samuel Field Sports has done a real uh, good job on this rifle. If you're getting that accuracy on the this uh, LDU with the conversion they've done on the trigger as well. So uh, fair play to John down at Samuel. I'll take the bottle top to the right first. It's held on with a bit of tape. So that's the bottle top gone. Now I'll see how close I can get to the uh, shoot and see targets. And that's uh, 60 yards down at the, down at the range. And the chronograph is top left of the screen. It's a scan chronograph. 
with the interface so we're just gonna get it on the computer and then uh, see how we go with the shots Pellets I'm using are Air Arms Express uh, 7.9 grain pellet Out, straight out of the, straight out of the tin. Uh, I would have liked to have got this little bit of video uh, shooting the rifle as well. I know you can hear it, but it's much better for you to see me to shoot it. We do have, we do have our doubters out there. Um, but I'll just put tang through it. So with the stats we got on that uh, chronograph reading, we got a high velocity of 11.36, which is an energy of 11.5, and then we had a low of uh, 801.60, which gives you uh, a foot pound of 11.2. So over the 10 shot spread, uh, we've got 9.76 feet per second spread over 10 shots, uh, which is fairly good. Uh, uh, for a tuned spring rifle. Uh, however, in the past, uh, we've also found out that uh, if you take the top five brands of um, pellets and put them over a chronograph, and you'll, you'll let's say you'll have three what are in double figures on their feet per second spread over ten shots, and you'll have two brands what are, are under double figures. Generally, the uh, what we found out through testing is the the pellets what are in the um, the double figures, let me get this right, in the double figures of feet per second are usually more accurate in the field. Um, today we've got uh, 9, 9.7 and you've seen in the video that uh, it's accurate in the field. So that's a testament to the tune that, uh, that John's done at uh, Samuel Field Sports. Okay guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate to you uh, consistency in trigger pull and um, what happens when it's inconsistent. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the pellet dot on the left and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two shots. One, The first one which is going to be consistent. Now when I mean by consistent, I'm going to take up the first stage and then a gentle squeeze and hold the trigger back. Don't let it go. The second shot I'm going to take is going to be inconsistent. So I'm going to pull the first stage up, squeeze the second, and then I'm going to pull the trigger and let it go. And I'm just a demonstration to show you the inconsistency you'll get from uh, not holding the trigger back on spring rifle shooting. Okay, so there's a consistent shot holding the trigger back. Mm. 
sweet. So now I'm gonna take an inconsistent shot by letting the trigger go as soon as I pulled the uh, trigger. Would you believe it? Would you believe it? Now well, that just goes to show uh, how good this trigger is that Tony's done on it. So I'll do that one again, that one again, because uh, this is the first time I've tried this, and it should have went wrong. But the trigger's so good, it's worked out right. Well, there you go. Well, that demonstration didn't go uh, to plan, but that's totally backfired because I was expecting that trigger, um, sorry, that pellet to go probably left and high, where you had an inconsistent uh, trigger pull. Um, and it's proved me wrong. That's just uh, a testament to Tony's work on the trigger. Well, happy. Okay, we're down at uh, Black Cat and we've got a uh, club member Dave who actually owns a uh, standard LGU. So I thought a good opinion would to be from Dave uh, on this rifle which has been tuned by John at Samwell Field Sports. So I'll let Dave have a shot first and uh, he can get back to us. Dave? Yeah, absolutely. 100% improvement on the trigger. Uh, the cocking smooth as anything. Yeah. But, yeah, and that's a that's a stage one tune uh, by John at Samwell Field Sports. Uh, so they've got the the Samwell Field Sports spring in it, top out and guide, and then they've done the trigger conversion. Because I know on the standard LGU, let's not take anything away from the LGU because it's a good rifle out of the box apart from the trigger. Yes, was that be correct? Yeah. Yeah, the trigger was such a long, long pull. Yeah, yeah. This is smooth. Shoot smoother than the standard one you got. Oh, 100 yeah. percent. Good. Yeah, brilliant. Definitely. But, um, yeah, I mean, and I cocking. I'm not allowed to anymore. And, well, to see excellent. Well. All right. well done. Thanks excellent. for your opinion, Dave. I appreciate that. Thank you. It's come off the peg, but still touching the peg, so it's still... Oh, lovely shot. I don't think it is. I think it went straight through that. That had no problem taking it, did it? Nope. Oh, yeah, it Oh, that's a good shot. Did you film that? Well done. Well done there, Davy. Oh, well done. Well done. Zoom out, Dave. That's it. She's a bit of breeze. You can see grass moving. Oh, a lovely shot, Davy. <coughs> Oh, a good shot, David. Oh, yeah. It's a small kill, that is, as well. Yeah. See, on my scope, that would, that would be blur at my secondary zero. Good oh, shot, mate. No problems with these guns, is there? Oh, mate. Such an improvement, this trigger on this. It really is. Yeah. yeah. Good shot, mate. Good shot. Crosshairs, one o'clock. <laughs> Shot, Davy. Fair play. Straight in the centre. Straight in the centre. Well done. Davy's on a forty, probably three yard or something like that. Twelve o'clock. Oh, he got Did it. Did you say so. sorry off camera? <laughs> <laughs> I said I thought we were going to miss it if he didn't. Boom. Doing well, we're on target 16 and he's three down. Right, we're on target 17 uh, and you can see there's an obstacle you have to shoot over. It's a kneeling shot and then I'll just zoom in now and try and identify there it is. There you go, whenever you're ready, Davey. Good 
Good oh, shot. Good shot. Uh, who is it now? This one as well. Good shot. Fair play. Over he goes. Boosh! And, and he's as far as a 25 mil kill can go. 35 yards. Are you still only three down? Shot. <laughs> you go crosshairs. No. I was half a mil that hold under. I'm that because I'm still rising at that right? Good shot. Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah. Good shot. Not having any problem with that gun, are you? I'm not, no. Four mil that'll win there. Was it? Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's a cracking shot, David. Well done. If I were a betting man, then I'd have bet against you getting that. How very dare you! <laughs> I always just knock this one over with the ultra. David to go now. Have a look. Yeah. So look at your hair down in your gun. See how much you've got. Oh, I Oh, yeah, you've got plenty. Whoa! Is that a miss? Nigel, will that confirm miss? Will it confirm miss? On that easy target? It's, it's the one that Laura just knocked over. Yeah, the one that Laura just knocked over. Oh, unlucky, Davey. Hey, can't win them all, can you? Okay, I'm, I'm uh, down at the club again with uh, Paul Brown. This is uh, Nathan's dad. He uh, shoots an LGU out of the box. So I'm just getting a, an unbiased opinion from Paul on how well the Samuel Field Sports uh, Tune, which John done at, at Samuel Field Sports, he is the other gunsmith, and uh, just get his opinion on, on how well it shoots. I'll let him take another shot, he's just getting used to it. He's had a couple of shots off camera, and uh, I did see a few smiles coming on his face when he was uh, putting a pellet through another pellet hole. So, Paul, what would you say uh, from out of the box LGU to a tuned LGU uh, rifle? How do you feel it, it shoots smoother? Yeah, less recoil. Less recoil, yeah, yeah definitely. Less recoil. Um, you said something about the linkage, didn't you? Uh, yeah, so the LGU out of the box had a fair bit of play yeah. in the uh, cocking yeah, arm. Cocking arm yeah. uh, where it's all disappeared out of the tube. Nice, one. yeah, that's good. It's all gone. Um, the where you've got the uh, loose linkage on the out yeah. box one, there was quite a bit of wear in the wood, right? In here, but so that's all so they solved that as well. Yeah. And the trigger lock time on triggers fast, yes, yep. Yeah. You like very that, good. yep, good, yeah, very good indeed. Better so than the one out of the box. A percentage overall, would you say, from out of the box uh, to a tune trigger, what would you say on a percentage? Oh, 100% better, yeah, yeah, brilliant. That's all you need. See, there's an unbiased review. I'll let you carry on, Paul. Thanks for that. Okay. Um, an unbiased review from another LGU shooter. Another, he's shooting down at the range. And as you can see, very minimal recoil from this rifle. Well done, Paul. LGU, not too sure what it's done on the internals, but the uh, 
wants to keep his secrets. I've just taken a rabbit there, out at um, 35 yards, bang on my zero. So, um, heads up, see if we can get some more. So, uh, this is a view of the, the bottom part of the paddocks where I'm shooting to. And uh, I'm zeroed at 35 yards with Air Arms Express. And I believe they're about 7.8 grain. So, pretty much what you can see here is on my zero. Apart, as soon as we start going past this blue, where is he? Start going past that blue. Uh, support there for the cable. That's when I'm going to start using holdover. So we just have to see now. That was the uh, <coughs> Volvo LGU, Samuel Phil Sports tuned, uh, and also with the tune trigger, it makes it a lot better for accuracy. Um, it's a lot smoother to shoot. Proof is in the pudding with that bunny there. It's probably about 30 yards there with a 7.8 grain pellet uh, Air Arms Express, zero to 35 yards. is a rabbit what uh, I think Davey's going to shoot. He's using a uh, Sandalfield Sports Walther LGU which has been tuned. I don't want to zoom in any further because uh, probably focus on the fence. Probably is focused on the fence actually. It's quite a long shot for him actually. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I'll show you where he is. Hopefully the sun's not gonna be in the camera too much. They're right in that corner. There look. That's a beautiful shot. Well done Mr. Thomas. get the rifle, rifle loaded quick enough there but um yeah dispatched humanely uh, around about 25 yards
this one here has gone straight through the eye because his head was at a different angle and actually at the back of the back of the brain as well so So that's 42 yards. Great shot, Davy. That's the uh, RGU again. Sandal Field Sports tuned. Just filming there. I'm waiting for my rabbits to come out and probably can't see Davy because he's down the, uh, around the corner. Out of shot. David just picking his uh, rabbit up. Look at all the uh, midges biting like mad tonight. Well guys, that brings us uh, to the end of this review on the LGU, which is uh, a stage one tune by John at Samuel Field Sports, their other gunsmith. My final thoughts on the rifle, well as uh, always, it's uh, nice to cock and smooth, it's very accurate, shot cycle is sweet, and very minimal recoil. And also the trigger is 100% uh, improvement on the uh, standard trigger as some of you will know if you own a standard that the trigger slightly creeps a bit so this is a 100 percent improvement on it now uh, we'll talk about the, the cost of the rifle so if you want to buy the full stand if you want to buy a full stage one tune from samuel field sports it will be 449 pound however if you have an LGU and you would like to send it in for a tune it will be £99 plus £23 return postage. However if your rifle has a plastic trigger then Samuel Field Sports will change it over to a metal trigger hence part of the stage one tune is a trigger tune as well and that will be an extra cost at £20. So a total of £142 if you send it in, which is uh, it's not too bad, really. So, well, I hope you uh, enjoyed the review of uh, the LGU. And uh, if you did, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, press the subscribe button <laughs> for future episodes of Firm Notice TV. And uh, myself and Si will be seeing you shortly. Thanks for watching.